Hi guys and welcome to another full tour video. Uh, this is uh, a long wheelbase Citroen Relay. If you've been watching the, uh, the how-to videos I've been uh, uploading, this is the final product. Um, so I'm going to take you through uh, outside and, and inside and we'll see what this looks like. So, on the outside we've got the uh, sights double glazed windows, one in the sliding door, one at the back of the lounge area. We've got the uh, long awning on top of there as well. windows um, also got a reversing camera up there as well and at the bottom we've got uh, some reversing sensors another window there in the lounge area you can probably just see the, uh, the TV aerial um, probably one of the roof vents as well at the top um, then we've got the uh, the trimmer the exhaust there we've got the water filler and we've got the 240 hookup and uh, also have um, an underslung gas tank on this one and that's the filling point. Just have a quick look underneath. We've got the, uh, the drain offs there for the waste and the fresh. I don't know if this is going to zoom in or not. We've got the uh, tanks under there and at the front. You can't see if it's zooming in or not. Yeah, we've got the gas tank there as well. the exterior we've got the, the graphics on this one as well this is a customer's own vehicle that they brought to us with the, their own layout uh, that they wanted us to build now, so immediately there as we uh, we open the sliding door we're met with the, uh, with the kitchen and we've got a locker over the top of that as well um, let's jump inside at the top here, as you've seen as used before, the side net system. And we've got a, a top locker over the cab, which holds quite a bit of storage up there as well. Uh, we've remounted the uh, courtesy light on this one. You can see that. And then facing us, as we walk in, we've got the wardrobe some bits and pieces and booklets we've got the table leg storage there and obviously the, uh, the stuff for the uh, the TV aerial now, now let me just show you the cab on this one we've got the uh, upholstered cab seats to match the back end really nice cab on this one uh, the curtain track as you can see is mounted at this point here because these um, these don't swivel these seats now this um, this contraption we've got in the middle here is for when the dog is traveling with them let me show you uh, how this works so to remove slide it back so you can still walk through Push that back and it's quite tight as well, which is a good thing. And we've got a seat belt point there for the for the dog. So this point comes back, and then we have a cushion there that sits in between, and the uh, the dog can sit at the front of them there while they're travelling. Uh, we've got a compressor fridge on this one. some more storage down there as well. Let me shut this door because it's a bit windy actually. Alright, so we've got uh, hob, we have the grill and oven feature in there. The sink, running hot and cold water as well. And some more storage in there as well. This little uh, item here, this is uh, an indicator. Tell us uh, how much is uh, is in the underslung gas tank. A level indicator, if you will. Um, top lockers all the way around. 
lots of storage in this one. We've got the LED strip light under there. On and off switch for that one. But uh, yeah, plenty of storage in here. Nice deep lockers. Can you continue all the way around as you can see? Um, I'm going to show you the uh, the shower compartment now. A nice big mirror on the back of the door there. And as you go in, you'll notice that there's no um, there's no sink in this particular shower that we've done. Uh, the lady wanted uh, as much room as possible, and it does make a big difference. And obviously, you do have the uh, the sink on the kitchen facing, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. Uh, I know some people will prefer it, some won't, but um, it does open it up quite a lot. Now having a sink in here. So we've got the uh, the toilet, obviously the shower head and everything. Some more storage in there. Roof vent. Obviously light. Uh, Close hook points here. And the curtain track to pull the shower curtain round. But yeah, nice and open. A lot of room in this one. Now at the back we've got uh, two six foot bench style seats but we uh, we have, I think you've probably seen this on one of the other um, conversions we've done you can pull that centre across we've got an extra cushion here which makes up uh, a wrap round seating now across the back there probably use some scatter cushions uh, if you want to lean against there but it does create another wrap round seating which is a nice feature to have and obviously that will just um, pull out and this will pull across again and you can walk through if you need to use your back doors uh, we've got a television on this one and DVD player and again the lockers around all these windows have um, blinds and fly screens and them the double glazed as well um, we've got LED lights, spotlights, directional lights even uh, in each corner and then over here we've got 240 12 volt and that's obviously your, your aerial socket as well there and that's your control panel for your combi unit uh, there's another 240 and 12 volt socket there as well behind the sink We've got some uh, flap extensions, one either side, to uh, to create a bit more work surface. Uh, so what I'll do now, I'll uh, I'll take the cushions up, and I'll show you underneath, uh, and then at the end I'll I'll show you what the, uh, the we've got a special feature on the table as well on this one. But I'll get the cushions up, we'll show you underneath, and then we'll we'll take okay, it. Okay, cushions removed. So on this side, on the driver's side, as you can see, we've uh, we've we've crammed quite a lot on this side. So we've got the sergeant system. Uh, everything's boxed in, as you can see. Uh, the plumbing, and then we've got the the Truma combi unit there. That does um, uh, blow air heating and hot water, both on mains, electric and gas. Uh, we've got the the pump. Uh, I think that's a 110 battery as well in there. Obviously, there's a bit of storage at the back there. You'll notice there's doors on the end. Uh, of the units as well so if you've got anything uh, long poles or anything like that you want to slide in from the back you can do so you don't have to lift up the uh, the bed slats um, and the ducting as well it's all in there so on this side this is just completely storage as you can see again doors on the back so there's a lot of storage in this vehicle um, as you've seen before, it's the same bed system that we use. That all pops together there. Now, you obviously, you've got the option of uh, two single ones or one big double. And going across, I think that's about six foot one, six foot two across. So that is, is, is one big double bed. Um, 
but yeah, plenty, plenty of room in this one. Right, I'll put everything back and I'll uh, I'll show you a couple of other things. The cushions back now. Um, I've set the table up, and as you've probably noticed, it is quite a big table. Well, there's a reason for that. Um, the couple that's uh, that's had this conversion done, they had a, a special requirement. Um, this doubles up as something else. I've I've un I've undone the the catches underneath. So as you pull this back, you can see the catches there on the back of the table, and this uh, doubles up as a, a jigsaw table, which is what the uh, which what they wanted. Uh, we've put some some ends on here so nothing can fall off, but uh, it's one of the uh, the things that they wanted, so that's what we've done for them. Um, brings us to the end of uh, the full tour. Uh, I'd just like to say um, thank you very much for all your, for your nice comments throughout the how-to videos. Um, it's uh, something we've not tried before but I'm going to continue doing it. Um, and once again, uh, many thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.